It's a question that's brought up this time of year every year. What is appropriate to wear to school? It's a continued battle between students and faculty. That's why one local school corporation brainstormed some ideas with their students to make revisions that everyone agrees on. News Send's Melissa Crash explains in tonight's Education Watch 10. It's that time to hang up the swimsuits and go back to school shopping. But before searching through the clothing racks, make sure to grab your dress code guidelines. The Vigo County School Corporation sat down with students to see what they had to say about the rules. They were really in agreement with everything and felt that everything was appropriate with the exception of one thing. And that rule lands number one on the list. No shorts or skirts are to be worn that are shorter than midway on the thigh. Because it kind of eliminates that battle over an exact fingertip length because often you could be really, really close and look appropriate and more than um, perfect for school, but yet it wasn't fingertip length. The director of secondary education, Stacy Mason, says many rules remain the same as last year. No jackets or backpacks between the first and last bell. Clothes shouldn't promote violence or drugs. And hats and sunglasses are not to be worn. If students break the rules, there are consequences. We're going to ask if you brought anything else with you that you can change into, or can you call somebody to bring you something to change into, and nine times out of ten, that solves it. It's the responsibility of each student to be aware of the dress code. When you graduate from high school and you go into a job, there's always going to be certain expectations with regard to dress. Because students still can be fashionable as long as they remember. You're here to learn. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Melissa Crash, News 10. For the full list of dress code guidelines, head over to our website, WTHITV.com.